Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is seven o'clock Eastern time on July 11th, Tuesday, July 11th, 2023 in Chesapeake, Virginia. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com and I am coming to you live on this hot, hot, hot day. Whew, it is hot. And, um, I'm trying to cool you down. We got a winter card for you today. Thanks to my good friend, Diane Eckleberry, who's on here. She saved me today because I was trying to come up with a card with this brand new stamp set. Trucking along. I just got it. And the matching punch, which um, we just were able to order a few days ago. And I shipped mine extra super fast. Got up at the crack of dawn at 2 in the morning to order mine. And uh, then it sold out pretty quick. And so um, I was trying to come up with a card today. And then she made a card, sent me a picture. And I was like, oh, there's my card for the video. <laughs> and I said, can I use that card for tonight's video? She's like, sure. <laughs> so thanks, Diane, for letting me use your card idea for today. So um, this is Diane's card, and I copied it. So... Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you, Diane, for letting me use your project today. So, I love this new stamp set. It is so adorable. It's perfect for Christmas cards, but it's perfect for all sorts of other cards, too. So, if you want to use it for other cards, you can, but it goes great with this new paper, the One Horse Open Sleigh paper, which is um, an online pro product, just like the stamp set and punch are. And hopefully, they'll be back in stock in a few days. Somebody said the 17th, but I'm not positive um, exactly when, because I haven't looked myself. So does anybody know for sure what it says on the website? Because I haven't looked. So if anybody knows for sure, let me know. And let me say hello to everybody. Let me see. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Renee. Hey, Julie. Hey, Myra. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Bill. Hey, Robin. Hey, Hilda. Hey, Diane, my savior for today. Hey, Spice Girl. Love the truck punch and love this card. You always come through. Hello, Shimmerettes. Hot there, Diane. Yep. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Patricia. Let's see. Hey, Robin. Hey, Mary. Um, hey, Debbie. Hey, Linda. Hey, another Debbie. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Lisa, I just stuck a card in the mail for you yesterday. Hey, Marie. Hey, Kim. Let me see. Oops, a whole bunch of people just went flying by. Let's see. Who did I miss? Anybody? I think I got most everybody. Hey, Betty. Anna. Um, Josie. Therese. Francis. Hey, Janaya. And Beth both. Oh, both of you guys are there. All right. So a couple girls on here coming over Thursday from my class. And we'll be doing some cool projects. And I've been keeping that a secret. So two of the projects we're making on Thursday are secret. So I haven't done the videos of those yet. So I'll be doing videos of those later. So, um, so if you're just tuning in, this is the new stamp set that you can um, get, hopefully, has anybody looked it up yet? Um, I'm thinking, oh, okay, so somebody did look it up, July 17th. So that's just in, what, five days, six days? So that's not bad, so you can get it in less than a week. And um, there's a punch, this punch, that goes with it. And um, as I was using this about an hour ago, I discovered that um, it's got three extra punches on here and I have no idea what they are for. This one I think is for the window. I don't know what these are for. Um, <clears throat> they punch out stuff and I tried to fit them with stuff but I don't know what they go to. The only thing I can figure out is this maybe goes with a tire. I don't know. That's the window. I don't know what that is. Maybe the this piece right here. But it didn't really fit. I don't know what it is. So if any of you guys know what that is, let me know. Um, I looked at a few other cards that people have made and nobody's really used those other pieces. So I don't know what they are, but um, 
I put some sparkle on here. Do you guys, can you guys see that sparkle? It looks so beautiful. The tire and the wheel well. Okay, well, I don't know what you would do with that tire. Why would you put that tire on top unless you want to, I don't know. Hmm. <coughs> That's just um, interesting. Unless you want to have that different color. I don't know. Okay, I'll have to try that and see what it looks like, but it looks kind of strange to me, so I don't know. I need a sip of water. Oh, I got some cards to give away. I was looking for a joke. I found one, but it's not like super funny like last time. Last week, last time's joke was that was the funniest joke ever. Like, I think that was probably one of my favorite jokes of all time. So if you missed last time's joke, the one on Saturday, you need to go back and watch Saturday's video. That was a really, really good joke. <laughs> Today's joke is cute, but it's not like last time. That was just so funny. All right, so here's the paper. I'm gonna do a fast flip through. Um, so we've got double-sided. I didn't put them all the right way. So we've got some scenery on one side and plain on the other. So I'm just flipping fast through here. So, oh, you can see how beautiful these are. This is one of my favorite ones in here. And I love this one too. Oh, and this is a good one. There's some really pretty ones in there. So that's the paper. And if you don't have it yet, you need to go buy about 10 packs of it because it's going to be sold out probably soon. I'm getting that tickle in my throat again. <clears throat> I don't know why. All right, so let me show you. I got a happy mail. This is from Joan Ballinger. And she sent me a fun fold. I'm not sure if I figured it out because she folded it backwards to prevent these from getting messed up in the mail so I tried to fold it back the right way and I don't know if I did or not but I think it goes like this I don't know if I did it right because uh it was kind of folded funny but we'll see if that is what it does I think that's how it goes but I'm not sure but um thank you Joan because that is a cute card and I love it but I'm not sure if that's how it goes or not because it was folded like differently. So hopefully that's how it goes and then you open it like that. But it's really cute and I love it. And she had a real sweet note in there. So thank you for that. And then if you wanna order, um, don't forget here's the host code. <coughs> Gosh, here we go again. I need to uh, get some water. Oh, it's the strangest thing. Here's my card kit. So if you order $50 or more, between now and the 15th, you'll get the card kit to make these three cards. And um, if you order at least $100 or more, you get the gems to go with it. And also, you get entered to win a mystery box, which is a huge box full of about $250 worth of stuff. So everybody who orders at least $100 and uses the host code before the 15th will get entered to win that mystery box. Yeah, I'm allergic to you guys. That's what it is. Let me get a piece of gum. <coughs> See if that'll help. Lubricate my throat. <laughs> and oh yeah, tomorrow is Debbie Spicer's last day of chemo. So everybody say a prayer for her. I'm pretty shot, but everybody's prayers and cards and love them. Mm. Six more weeks of destruction and cancer free. I did not have my date last Saturday. No, that turned out to be nothing. But let's finger keep our fingers crossed for this Saturday. Maybe it'll be better. We never know. You never know what will happen. All right. So if you want to send Spice Girl a card, here's her address. Um, hello from Idaho. Dinner time for us. That was a funny joke. Okay. All right. So hopefully you got a screenshot of that. 
All right, so time to make the card. <coughs> Goodness gracious. All right, so I want to show you how to cut the paper first. So, well, let me give you the dimensions of everything. So we've got our piece of paper, five and a half by eight and a half mossy meadow, five and a quarter by four real red. This piece I'm going to show you how to cut five by three and three quarters. And that's this piece right here. So we just took out like the middle part right there. Whoops. That part. And then we have a white for the middle. That's for the inside. And then our word pieces. And then this is the inside. So on the inside, I just have that piece right there. So, um, here, well, I'm running out of room here, guys. Let's see if I can squeeze it all in. <clears throat> there we go. All right, hopefully you can fit all that in your screen. Okay. All right, everybody got that. And then let's take these off. And let me show you how to cut that paper. So what I did, well, I looked at Diane's picture first. <laughs> that helped. <laughs> so thank goodness for Diane. Okay. So what I did was I looked at her card and she had the card right here. So I was like, okay. So I didn't cut anything off this side. So I knew I had to cut this side. <clears throat> and it was five by three and three quarters because I knew there was two layers to it. So, and I cut mine upside down. So my cutter is upside down. So I just went to the five inches and I cut off. Actually, I take that back. I cut it at five and a quarter first because I wanted this inside piece across the inside to be five and a quarter. So I did that first at five and a quarter. Well, I'll take that back. I did this first. So let me cut this off first. All right, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know I'm making you guys wishy-washy. Okay, so I wanted that piece um off the bottom so i just cut like right where the bottom of this piece was right here off the bottom so let's do that first and get that piece off because we don't want to cut too short so just put that where that bottom piece is right there off your cutter so this is the piece that goes inside then do that at five inches okay so now we've got our five inches this way and we need it three and three quarters this way. So go to the bottom of that little, I'm not sure what that is. Like, I don't know, bush, a dead bush or something. And then three and three quarters this way. And there you go. So now you've got your piece for your card. So that's how you get the piece for your card. And that's all you need. All right, so you can save the rest for later if you want to. So now comes the stamping part. I lost my little word piece. Oh, there it is. <coughs> okay, so I have scrap paper to stamp everything. So I'm going to start with Memento Black and the truck. And since it's photopolymer, you wanna have some kind of a cushion under here. So I've got my pad of paper. So just stamp that like that. And it stamps really nice. And then I did the tires next. And I think I need my glasses to see this. 
So we're going to line that up. And I can't see from the side. It's much easier to do if you can see right over top of it because it's hard to line up unless you can see right over top. So I'm going to try and pull it closer. Hold on. I don't want to mess up. Okay, hopefully I got that straight. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. That was good. Um, okay, and then what else do we need in black? We need, um, oh, the outside of the tree. So this little piece right here. And this is just scrap. So that's the outside of the tree. And, oh, we need the little, um, I don't know what you call this, like the shadow or the whatever that is right there that goes under the truck. So that's going to go like about right here. I just did that crooked too. <clears throat> I will. Okay, so I think that is everything in black. All right, so we're done with that. And then we're going to go to the red inside. So for the inside of the truck, this is not hard to line up if you can see right over top. <clears throat> it's going to be hard for me if I can't go right exactly over top, but we'll see. My pad is super juicy. I mean, super juicy. All right, so... We're going to try and line that up. Hopefully that's good. Pretty close. That's, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. And then, oh, the words. So let me get my little word piece. This pad's a little juicier than I like. I don't like them brand new. Super dark. And this will go right in the middle. Okay. Close enough. Close enough. Okay. And then we've got green. And this is, that was real red. So we had um, memento black, real red. And this is mossy meadow. Now the mossy meadow was really, really dark. So I did stamp off on that one. So this one, you can see all my little practice ones up here. And now this one is really hard to line up unless you can see over top. So hold on. Let me try and get right over top. Oh, that's really crooked. Hold on, let me get another one of those. That's super crooked. I might have to do this one off camera. I don't know why I can't see very good today to get it from the side. All right, let me try one more time. So we're gonna just stamp it off. If I can line it up. I know I'm gonna have to go off the side of the camera. Hold on. It's just too hard to do it off the let me do it off off camera so I can see right on top of it. Man, I did it really crooked. <laughs> I think I'm going blind. Dang. <laughs> I don't have an excuse now. I went off the camera. <laughs> All right, we've got to do three times. See if we can get it the third time. This is bad. Hmm, I'm running out of scrap paper. All right, come on, Lisa. We can do it. We can do it. I know my hair's probably right in the middle of the camera. It's really not that hard to line up. I don't know why I can't see it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see if we did it this time. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I got it that time. <laughs> it's not that hard, I promise. I don't know why I can't see right now. Okay, all right, we got it now. All right, we're gonna fussy cut this out and do the punch with this one. So here we go. So this punches pretty easily, I hope. Oh, I almost ruined my tree. I should have done that first. I almost ruined my good one. That would have really been bad, wouldn't it? Okay. 
All right, so here's my extra little pieces. So see, they punch out there. Okay, so we'll just save them for another time. All right, so that truck punch is out so cute, doesn't it? There's our little hubcap. So we're gonna fussy cut this. So it's just straight down here. And I'm just gonna go straight up here and then just kind of go in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay. So, let me see, do I have an exciting story? Oh, so yesterday, um, not yesterday, day, was it day before yesterday? Yesterday was Monday, so Sunday, I was sitting here and I needed to mow the grass, so um, I was gonna wait until it got, you know, almost dark, like six or seven, and cooled off some, and then I was sitting here watching a movie, and it was like, I don't know, three o'clock, and it got, um, started getting a little dark outside, and I was like, oh no. So I pulled up the weather, and it said, like 50% chance of rain or thunderstorms about four o'clock. And I said, oh great. So I said, well, I guess I better go ahead and mow the grass. And it was like 90 degrees outside. And I was like, oh, I just don't want to mow it when it's so hot. But I didn't have much choice because I really needed to mow it. So I put my mowing clothes on. I go outside and it's so hot. And I start mowing the grass and I get the front done. And I start the back, and all of a sudden, it's just getting really dark. And it starts thundering, and I'm going, oh, no. And so, <laughs> I'm already, like, sopping wet, sweaty. And I start mowing faster, and it's thundering more. <laughs> and I start going faster. <laughs> and I'm going, Lord, please don't let it rain until I'm done. And um, I'm practically running now. And my yard is really steep, so I have to go, you know, in the backyard, it's like, really steep going down so I have to go across because I can't really go up and down because it's just too hard so I have to go across back and forth and it's hard because it's just on a steep hill so I'm practically like running back and forth running back and forth and I'm out of breath and I'm just like <laughs> you know and um I'm almost done and it's you know I can just tell it's gonna like rain any minute and I'm going oh gosh please please just let me finish so I finished and I'm like, I pull into the garage with the mower and, and you know, I have a, a push mower, but it's self-propelled and uh, I'm not kidding. It was not even like a minute and the sky fell in and I was like, whew, I barely made it. But it took me about 10 minutes just to stop heavy breathing. <laughs> I was, I was dying. <laughs> I'm out of shape, that's for sure. All right, so the paper I put this on is the other side of this. I just used a scrap from, you know, this piece here that I had left over on the other side. So it was this red, red stuff that I used to put the um, words on. So I just used that piece and then we're just gonna glue this all together. So this one goes on here at the bottom. So next time, hopefully I won't be stuck in the situation where I have to run because I am not in any shape to run. And I was just lucky I didn't get rained, although the rain probably would have felt pretty good because that was really hot. But luckily I didn't get hit by lightning or anything. <laughs> All right, so this goes on the inside. And then on the front, we're gonna put the red. And then, so this is a really easy card. But it looks like you did a lot of work. Because this kind of looks like it's all stamped, but it's the paper. 
You made it. Hey, Lucy. Um, let's see. Is that the cutest thing or what? Yes. Maybe someone wants to make a monster truck. What? Did I get the truck? Oh, a monster truck. You mean like lift it up and then make the tires big so that'll make be the monster truck? Did a lot of you guys get the truck already? So you could make this card um, right away? All right, these are all gonna go on dimensionals. And I got all little pieces here. Don't ever, whoops, that's too big. Don't ever throw away your little scraps. Let me find a little one for this one. Okay. All right, so this will go at the top. Love that little truck, me too. Can't wait to get it. Nope, not a fan. You know, I wasn't a fan either until I saw a couple cards with it and then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to get it. I love it. But I didn't love it until I saw a bunch of cards with it and then I was like, I gotta have it. No truck for me. Can you use, no, uh, uh the punch doesn't go with the other one. It was, the other one was totally different. Um. Because I was looking, when I was looking for ideas, I was looking, I just typed in little red truck, stamping up, and the old truck set came up, but it is totally different than this one. All right, this, this goes right above that little, um, I don't know what you would call that. I guess it's a shadow or, um, I don't know. Anybody know what that would be called? It'd just be like water I don't know and then this just fits right in here really perfectly right in the back of the truck like so and then got a big old mess over here all right and then I spritzed it I got scrap paper I don't mess up my spot. And I think Saturday, what's today? 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. Oh, Saturday I think will be a new card kit. So I think, what is Saturday's date? And I got some cards to give away under here too. Yep, there's one. Oh, there's another one. There's a couple cards I can give away. All right, so there's today's card. What do you guys think? If you love it, do thumbs up. Give me a like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Did y'all do thumbs up yet? Oh, I didn't even do a thumbs up yet. Oh, what am I thinking? It grounds the truck so it doesn't float. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Tire tracks. Oh, it is the 15th. Okay, so definitely new car kit on Saturday. And Saturday's video will be early again on at noon. All right, I got a bunch of cards to give away. So we'll do these. All right, so I've got a joke for you guys. It's where the rubber hits the road. <laughs> That's a good one. Ordered mine. Beautiful card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank Diane, because it's her idea. Now I like the truck. I have to dig out my old truck. Uh-oh. Aw. Thank you, guys. All right, let me get my joke. It's cute and short. It's not super hysterical funny like the last one, but it's cute. All right, so you ready? This is um, 
a man and his ever nagging wife went on vacation in Jerusalem. While they were there, the wife passed away. The undertaker told the husband, you can have her buried here in the Holy Land for $150, or we can have her shipped back home for, for, for $5,000. The husband thought about it and told the undertaker he would have her shipped back home. The undertaker asked him, why would you spend $5,000 to have her shipped home when you could have a beautiful burial here and it would only cost $150? The husband replied, long ago, a man died here, was buried here, and three days later, he rose from the dead. I just can't take that chance. <laughs> so that was a cute one. So um, hopefully you liked that one. It was short and sweet and cute. Um, all right. So, yeah, that was a cute one. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So I've got some cards to give away. Some of these are old. Some of them are new. So this is one I did in a technique class one time that was with the chalks. You know, we haven't done the chalks lately. Maybe I should get those chalks out and do them again. So I've got a few. Some of these I just did. This was just from the other day. All right, so let me get my little sticky notes. Uh-oh, wait a minute. There we go. All right, here's my little notepad. So all the ones from the other day, I think I got everybody, I think I got everybody um, out on those. There was one from a, like a week ago, somebody didn't reply on though. Um, <clears throat> I still have my old pan of chalks, me too. Um, a lady told that one at church one day, oh that's funny. Okay, let me see. Who wants to win a card today? I need to get some kind of like little random thing to pick somebody. Like we need to have somebody that can just write down people's names and pick it so it's like random. All right, let's see. The winner of the first one is... Let's see... Ramona Prometheus. Let me see. Ramona Prometheus. I think you're new on here. I don't think I've ever seen your name before. All right. So you get this card. And if you're winning a card today, make sure you send me an email. Here's my email right here. Stampgirl2 at cox.net. Make sure you get that two in there. All right. This one is another beautiful card. Winner of this one is, let's see, Becky Willer. Never seen Becky on here. Becky Willer. Um, next one is, um, let's see, Margaret Burkett. I have a friend named Michelle Burkett. One of my very good friends is Michelle Burkett. Um, <clears throat> next one is, let's see. How about Tina Swanson? Tina Swanson. You get this one. And we've got a couple more. This one is, um, hey, Michelle Avon, I didn't see you on here today. <laughs> Sue Scheidler. Sue Scheidler. Can't spell. All right, you get this one. That's one of my favorite cards right there. And the last one is um, Paula Newman. Are you Paul's sister? Paul, Paul Newman's sister? <laughs> all right. Congratulations to all the winners. Make sure you send me your address at stampgirl2 at cox.net. And I will get those in the mail this week, all of you winners. 
So thanks for joining me tonight for this video. And thanks to Diane Eckleberry for coming up with this beautiful card for me. So I didn't have to do it myself. <laughs> and thank you to all of you um, for joining me. Oh, Joan's on here who sent me that card. <coughs> um, hey, Joan. Hopefully um, I opened it right. I don't know if I did, but hopefully I did. Um, but thanks everybody for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you Saturday at noon for another one. Hopefully I'll find a good joke by then. So if you have a good joke, send it to me and um, everybody take care, stay cool out there and um, let's pray for Debbie Spicer for her chemo treatment tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be the last one ever and send her a card and I will see you later. You guys, bye-bye.